Hi, it's Jeff with YourLearningCareer.com. If you've been thinking about a career as a corporate trainer, you might not be sure where to even start. And so I thought it would be helpful to share my story with you on how I got started as a corporate trainer. And then I will also share some of my top tips that you can use to get your own career kickstarted. First of all, I didn't really even know what corporate training was when I first, you know, like when I was in college. Um, my major in college was advertising. And so I actually, I knew I wanted to do something creative and I thought I'd go work at some ad agency or something like that, creating commercials. Uh, but as luck would have it, I ended up, my sophomore year of college, I ended up working at Walt Disney World as part of the Disney World college program. And so when I graduated from college, I only wanted to work there. I didn't care what I did. I wanted to go back and work for Disney World because I'd worked there the previous two summers and just had a blast. So advertising went out the window and I actually joined Walt Disney World full time as a character performer. So that was my first job out of college, uh, basically dressing up as a giant dog. Now, here's where training came along. So while I was in the character department as a character performer, um, after about a year or so, I had the opportunity to become a trainer within the department. So I actually got to help with the training of new people coming in, uh, training them how to be characters, like showing them the different procedures and how to animate and all of the good stuff that comes along with that. And so that's when I started to get a taste of what training and development was all about. But again, this was just part of my regular job. I didn't really know that you could do that aspect full time. And then within another year, I auditioned to be part of Walt Disney World Traditions, to be a facilitator for Walt Disney World Traditions. Now, if you don't know what that is, that's Walt Disney World's new employee orientation program. And that's where I discovered that I really loved getting up and teaching slash training people. I loved the presenting. I loved sharing the company culture, the company history. I loved teaching about guest service. So I really found my happy place at work. I loved this whole idea of getting up a training. Now, what I didn't know yet was how I was going to be able to do it full time because when I taught traditions, that was only maybe once or twice a month. And then uh, in the meantime, I was doing whatever my, my regular job was. I mentioned characters, but actually while I was at Disney World, I was there about six years. Um, I had several jobs. I worked in attractions. I worked uh, for a hotel. I also worked for the Disney Vacation Club. And so um, I would work my regular customer service type job and then I would go over and train. I also did training when I was in Disney Vacation Club. Uh, I was in Disney Vacation Club member services and I trained new people who were coming in to work in the call center. So that was another, that was some other training experience. So I really enjoyed all aspects of training. The next piece though was, how do I do this as my full-time job? And I did look around for a while within Disney. I really thought, oh, if I could be a full-time trainer here at Disney World, that would be perfect. But that never really panned out. And so I ended up leaving the company and the next place I worked was CarMax. What a weird transition. Why did I go from Disney to CarMax? I don't know, but that's what I did. And I became a sales, uh, I worked in sales at CarMax. So I went from goofy to used car salesman, basically. So when I got there, I was experiencing success. And I, I knew in the back of my head, like sales was fine 
but I knew what I really wanted. I still had that hunger for the full-time training position. And after, probably within less than a year, a position opened up for a regional sales trainer and I applied and based on, I had done some one-on-one -on -one training for CarMax, but then also based on that and my previous experience at Disney, both of those, all that experience together helped me land my first full-time corporate training job. So I got to be the regional sales trainer. I actually moved from Orlando, Florida to Houston, Texas. I had the Houston and San Antonio region. I taught the CarMax way, new employee orientation, and then I also taught the week-long sales training class. So um, that was my first, like I said, first full-time trainer position. And ever since that job, I've had only training and development positions. So now that was a that was strictly training facilitation, but actually after CarMax, I started uh, doing jobs that had both training and training design built into them. Now I'll talk in another video, I'll talk about uh, how I became a full-time instructional designer, because that's what I do now. Um, but prior to that, I, I have always, I have most of my career been in combination roles where I was doing training and instructional design as part of one job. So that's how I got started as a corporate trainer. And now I'd like to give you some tips on, based on my experience, I want to give you some tips on what you can do. So my first tip to everybody, number one, is to seek out those opportunities within your current job to train, to train new people. That's how I got my foot in the door. It was training new people who were coming into my department. And I did that, like I, like I said, I did that in the character department, but I also did it uh, in the Disney Vacation Club call center, member services. That for me was a really good way to start getting the experience and the exposure to the training world. Now, when it comes to, if you're someone who you really want to do that corporate training, right? That get up and speak and present. Then again, I would look for those opportunities to do that. Um, it could be something, it could be within your department. It could be you present at a meeting. It could be that you go present something at a new employee orientation or whatever. Maybe you have customer service training or maybe there's some kind of sales training. You can get up and volunteer to present for that. But there, usually any company you're working for will have those kinds of opportunities for you to present. And that's how you start building up experience that you're going to put onto your resume and use in interviews. Tip number two, in addition to those opportunities within your job, within your company, your existing company, I would look for opportunities uh, in organizations that maybe you volunteer for. So whatever that might be, and that could be scouting, it could be things you do for your kids, part of the kids' school. It doesn't matter, but again, there are usually, there, there is usually a need for people to volunteer, to speak, present, etc., and you can do that, or or for someone to teach a skill, uh, software, sales, customer service, whatever it is. Um, and again, the you when you start to do these things, these are things you can then start to put on your resume. So going back to my own experience, I mean that's how I got those full time jobs because. I was able to put those skills on my resume and I was able to talk about them in an interview. So that's my third tip is like, once you start doing those things, then you want to start seeking out those jobs. Um, and I would start with entry level. Like I would, I think sometimes people can be a little unrealistic and they, they want to go from zero to 60 um, like that. And you know, you got to put in the time. So I would definitely start 
with more of an entry level position and then you can work your way up from there all right so those are just some of my top tips for you to help you in your own career. If you'd like to see some more uh, information about how to get into corporate training, check out the articles I'm going to link to in the description. And then I also have some other videos here on the channel to help you out. And I'll put those here as well. So check that out. And um, please, I'd love to get a like from you if you found this helpful. And uh, also, I'd love to hear from you in the comments if there are any other types of videos you'd like to see. So thank you very much. And we will see See you next time.